Hello, I understand that some of my videos may seem negative to some people, but it is my orthodox duty to warn you people to stay away from schismatics, the old calendarists, because they are not what they pretend to be. In this video, I'm going to talk about Father Oleg. He is a priest in the RTOC under Bishop Stefan. These people are all the same. They're all cut from the same cloth, okay? Now, it was maybe two or three years ago I attended the Pascha service at the RTOC parish in San Francisco, and Father Oleg was serving. I was the first person to the church. I was standing outside. It was getting dark. And then Father Oleg drove up, and he was with a woman who I understood to be his wife and a young man who I understood to be his son or grandson. And I noticed when Father Oleg drove up and was getting out of the vehicle that he looked like he was really bothered by something. Either that he didn't want me there, he was bothered by the fact I was there, maybe I wasn't dressed nice enough, I was wearing a casual sweater and jeans, and he thought I would be a disturbance to the church because these people have no Christian love and no missionary zeal. Or it was because he did not look forward to the several hours of the church services. I don't know what it was, but he looked really bothered, okay? So anyway, we went into the church. The services were going well, but I noticed that the young man who was with Father Oleg, he did not want to be at church. It was so obvious. It was written all over him. He spent periods of time in the kitchen outside of the church. I went out there one time, I think, to go to the restroom, and he was just sitting down. He did not want to be at church, and this, I submit to you, is precisely what you would see in a cradle Christian. See, these people, a lot of them are not even converted. They don't know Christ. And I believe that baptism as an infant can lead to false conversion. That's a whole other topic which I will not elaborate on in this video. Okay? A lot of these people do not put their heart into their faith. They just go to church out of obligation or to socialize. Okay? So anyway, the church service went well, and then after the service of the potluck meal, I sat next to Father Oleg, and he was really nice at church, very nice. And then after the, oh, let me just say here, during the meal, I went upstairs to use the restroom. I was extremely tired, by the way. I was extremely tired because it took me a lot of time to get there. I came back down the stairs and I noticed that people were silent and looking at me. Someone had obviously said something about me. It's like the very first opportunity these people had to gossip, they went for it. Which tells me they did not respect me to, to talk to me in person. They waited till I left. And this is another thing you would see in cradle Christians. Someone had obviously said something about me. It was quiet and people were looking at me, okay? After the potluck meal, I asked Father Oleg if he could drive me to the bus terminal, and he did. And when I got home, on my own accord, I mailed that parish $10 in gratitude for the ride to the bus terminal. You know, I want to emphasize here, people, that I went to the RTOC in an amicable way. I was nice from the beginning, and I was treated like garbage, okay? So that's what I did. And then I want to share with you, people, that when I would email Father Oleg after the church service, you know, later on, when I, whenever I would email him, or when I told him about what Father Vladimir Mordvinkin of Sacramento had done, how he had pointed me to the Serbian Patriarchate for the sacraments, Father Oleg never wrote me back. He totally did not care about me. And I cannot emphasize it enough to you people that these individuals do not have Christian love they just simply do not they don't have any missionary zeal they don't do anything in their neighborhoods they're spiritually stagnant okay they lack christian love they lack pastoral concern so when i would email father oleg he wouldn't respond to my emails and i didn't understand why when i told him what father vladimir morvinkin had done he never even responded to tell me that he would check into it you know he didn't apologize he just didn't care. And these people just don't care. They don't have Christian love, okay? So this all tells me that the kindness he showed at the Pascha service was a total act. These people are actors. They're actors. 
they're really nice in person. But then when I leave, it's like they never want to have anything to do with me again. And they're just fake. They're so fake, okay? So this is Father Oleg, people. You know, he, he was really nice at church, but when I later contacted him, he didn't respond to me. And it just tells me this was an act, what he did at church. And when I told him about what Father Vladimir Sacramento had done, he didn't respect me enough to even acknowledge that he had received my email. These people are unbelievable. They're, they're unbelievable. And you need to stay away from the RTOC under Bishop Stefan and all the old calendars groups. Okay, thanks.